With Earth Day coming up, we wanted to see how it was being incorporated into the classroom of today. So I am here with Diane Griffin, who is a lower school science teacher at Columbus Academy. Hi, Diane. Hi, Robin. So let's talk first, why is it so important to involve students in nature, in growing plants, and really seeing how it works? Oh, well, our, our science program really lends toward that because it's all hands-on. Um, and kids just love it. They just love getting their hands in the soil and digging and trying to problem solve and figure out what's going on outside. One of the newest aspects here at Columbus Academy has been the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. How do you involve that in the curriculum? We use a lot of engineering uh, pieces to that um, and a lot of people have heard about STEM and we do that often with um, the greenhouse by going to um, looking at uh, components that we can use for aeroponics and hydroponics, working with plants and water and nutrients. Um, so there's no soil involved. So we have an opportunity to put those together and they brainstorm and design. They have to try to figure out what plants are gonna work in that system. They have to figure out um, the pump system. Um, so a lot of systems involved and uh, working together. Another cool area we got to see in action a little bit today is your science garden. Mm -hmm. And something happens there that is really cool and we're going to talk about how that relays even into a trip to Mexico uh, you took. So first explain the science garden to us. Okay well a lot of it is pollinator based and we are specifically uh, focusing on monarch butterflies. Um, yes they migrate they have a very long migration um, between two to, two to three thousand miles and um, because of that those kids study a migration unit and we've had an opportunity to watch those monarchs from beginning to end. And how we do that is we raise monarchs in our science garden, um, start off with eggs all the way through the whole life cycle. And then um, it has given us an opportunity to communicate and to be a part of the Mexico program as well. And share with us what that is like, because that is where the butterflies end. Mm -hmm. So the kids get to literally see it from beginning to end, right? They do. Um, so what we do is we, after we raise the monarchs, we tag them and we, they then can fly as they fly to Mexico. Um, someone might see it and they would record and make sure that they note um, where, uh, where they saw the butterfly. Um, and then from there, um, we, they may end up in the sanctuaries in Mexico. And as they do, there are guides and others who will find the tag. And as they find the tag, then we know, we find out later of whether our butterfly had made it there or not. They have found four of our butterflies over the years um, for those tags, um, which gives a great opportunity for these kids to see the beginning and the end of that, of that cycle of the butterfly and what happens. Um, there's so many different aspects to this too, as in, um, of course, um, with our more current of the climate change, um, there is such an impact on the monarch butterfly, um, especially right now, uh, with so much happening here in the United States with um, habitat loss and also habitat loss in Mexico. And all of this, if there's some parent out there who wants to maybe teach their child these lessons, right, to maybe bring them a little bit of that nature into life, how would you recommend they do that? I think getting them in, in nature and observing what's going on around them. Um, planting plants, getting involved, um, going to the park systems. There's many of the metro parks that get involved with monarch butterflies. I do know that Blendon Woods does that every year. Um, so seeing that and being a part of it, the kids just need to touch it um, and have that butterfly on their finger. Definitely. All right, Diane, I want to thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there is so much more to learn about Columbus Academy. Just head to their website, columbusacademy.org, or you can schedule a visit by calling their admissions office, 614-509-2220.